Alrighty, I'm excited for this video. Can't you tell it's the same day I just put on a sweatshirt. What's up guys, my name is Nate and welcome back to another video. Today is a very, very special day because one of the best MacBooks is turning 10 years old this year. Yeah, this thing, this thing right here that I'm holding is turning 10 years old. Oh man, it's been a long time. A very long time. I remember the day, I remember the time my mom got this thing and it was a very, very cool day. Um, but yeah, so this is my 14, no, 15 inch 2014 MacBook Pro. It is, oh, I need to unlock it. Dang it. This is my beloved 15 inch 2014 Retina MacBook Pro that I still edit these videos on to this day. How crazy is that that I still edit these videos on this machine? Now, I might have done a few little things and told, spoiled my uh, thoughts on this, but yes, this thing is getting kind of old. You can really feel it now. Probably maybe four years ago, it wasn't as bad, but now that age is on this thing, yeah, you can you can feel how old this thing is just by the speed this thing cannot provide. Um, yeah, so this MacBook, my mom, let's do a little backstory thing. So my mom got this computer back in 2014 or 2015. I think it was 2014. It is a mid-2014 MacBook Pro. My mom got it back in 2014 because she really needed a computer to take with her and she had an iPhone for the first few years and she noticed how well built her iPhone was. At this time it was like iPhone 5C era so you know it's been a long time. Um, yeah so since she loved her iPhone 5C she decided heck why not just buy an Apple computer? Because the last time she bought an Apple computer was back in 1986 of the original Macintosh. Yes, her family was one of the first few people to own an original Macintosh and I am still trying to find that computer because she knows that computer is not gone. We just have to figure out whose house it is in and I will have that computer and it will be mine and I will fix it and I'll make it functional again because it's a collectible and it's worth money. <laughs> But yeah, so that was the first Mac my parent, my mom had ever used. It was a very cool computer. She remembered using it for schoolwork and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. Then fast forward to 2014. This is the second ever Mac she has ever used. And she loved this thing so much. It was so nice to take a really powerful machine back. Like, I mean, <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> This machine was really powerful back in its day. I mean, it has a Core i7 quad-core CPU with a GTX 750 in it, and a solid battery life, a solid looking screen. I mean, this thing was a powerhouse back in its day. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, this thing was cooking back in 2014. Like, <laughs> let it cook in 2014. <laughs> But this computer was super, super powerful. My mom did so many things on it. Photo editing, um, work-related stuff, more photo editing. I mean, she really mostly did work-related and photo editing stuff, but she really needed a laptop to take to work and have as a personal computer. I'm trying to, she mostly edited photos. Did I make that clear? <laughs> But yeah, that's basically most of the reason why she bought this computer. Now, this laptop today is not adequate for most daily stuff, especially running Photoshop and Adobe Premiere because this thing can't run Adobe Premiere and Photoshop because the software is just too new at this point that it doesn't even support download anymore and you can't download it to this computer. <clears throat> I need water. So in 2019, my dad bought his MacBook, his first brand new MacBook because he loved using this MacBook and he wanted to get a laptop for himself, but he didn't know what. So my mom offered him to get a 
uh, 16 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Actually, it wasn't even a Retina. It's Retina. The Retina was an old name anyway, it doesn't matter. A 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro with an i9 in it and a very powerful i9. That computer was probably completely, that computer was completely overkill for his needs. He did not need that much power, but it doesn't matter because he still has that computer. <laughs> basically what my mom told me later is she was basically shopping for herself in the future. So that's why he got a new computer so she could play with his new computer basically. Shocker. And then a year later in 2020, she got one of the last Intel based MacBooks, the 16 inch 2020 MacBook Pro. And it was one of the last Intel i9 MacBooks because three months later, then one series came out, and I really wish she waited three months because the M3, the M, the MC, M1s were so much better than the Intel MacBooks, like by a long shot. <laughs> so I wish she waited, but at least she has one of the last few Intel MacBooks, which is pretty cool actually. So she gets to have something. Plain, can you shut up? So in 2020, she got her new MacBook, and she was happy enough to give this one old to me because at that point. The computer was only five years old at that point because at that point the computer was only six years old it still had quite a lot of life left in it and it was still getting the newer software updates at that point I mean 2020 when I got it Mac OS Catalina was out at that point and this computer ran Catalina great then a few months later Big Sur came out and this is what this computer can run on in fact this computer is stuck on 11.10.7 Big Sur. 11 point, ah, oh, dang it, 11.7.10. I had the numbers reversed. Dang it, I thought I had that number memorized. Basically, yeah, so 11.7.10 is the newest version this computer could run, and this computer actually hasn't received an update in a little over a year. In fact, it stopped getting security updates last year, and when I was Googling something, I'm like, when does this get last updates? And Literally, the update I did the night before was the last time this computer is getting security updates. So, oh my gosh, my Mac is gonna get hacked. Oh, what will I ever do? Yeah, have you ever heard of a Mac getting hacked? I don't think so. You really have to try to get hack a Mac, especially one of these things. And with the M series ones, oh, forget even trying. <laughs> Their own chipset is so secure, it's ridiculous. But anyway, 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 this computer is 10 years old. It has had a very good 10 years. In fact, this computer is not actually the original build. In fact, everything in this computer has been replaced except the SSD and the motherboard. And I'm pretty sure the backplate too. But everything else, the fans, the screen, the camera, uh, the keyboard, the trackpad, all of that stuff has been replaced at least and this computer, after all of that, still rocks. I think with the current battery that's in it, which I got replaced three years ago, has 209 battery cycles, which is pretty new still. But the reason why I'm making this video and you might not see this MacBook for very much longer is probably next year, this MacBook isn't gonna be anymore because I'm planning on going to be getting the M3 or maybe at this point the M4 if they're gonna release them this year, the M4 Pro MacBook Pro. I think I'm gonna go with the 14 inch one. I really, really want a new MacBook. I know I have my beefy Windows computer which is almost two years old, but come on, I wanna start learning Final Cut. I've been using iMovie for the last five years and I would really, really love to learn how to edit videos a bit more professionally. Yes, Final Cut is like a $300 program, but I am willing to save up my money. In fact, I have told all of my family members this year, if you're going to get me a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, Apple everything gift cards, please. I really, really want a new MacBook so badly at this point because it's a struggle to edit these videos. It obviously, obviously you can't tell that it's a struggle, but just editing these videos takes multiple hours on end. Just dragging in a clip, editing the clip, waiting for the computer to not freeze. And it's just, it's just painful. And it just makes editing these videos so, so difficult and making me not want to edit videos, which I want to edit content for you guys. I love making content. It's just the editing part really frustrates me because this computer can't do it properly anymore. Two years ago, it could do this flawlessly, but the last two years, 
It's been a rough journey on this old girl, and I don't blame it. It's got low-end specs. It's got a quad-core i7 from 2014, and from 2014, what are we on, Gen 4, Gen 5? Maybe even Gen 6, possibly, of an Intel CPU, and DDR3 uh, RAM, so yeah, it's, it's showing its age and its performance, but just daily browsing on like social media, this computer still nails it. I mean, it still uses the newest version of Google Chrome. I don't even know the newest version number of Google Chrome, but it uses the newest version, so it still can support all of that stuff. It just can't get any new software updates. So I'm missing out on all of the like multiple screens on, from macOS, uh, macOS, what is it, Monterey and up. Um, I'm missing the Sonoma live backgrounds, all of the new iCloud stuff. I mean, if, if you have a modern MacBook and you go to your system settings and you're like, okay, the system settings kind of look like an iPhone. What is this? <laughs> what is this? This is so outdated at this point. This is from like Mac OS 10, I'm technically calling here. The newest versions have those like bars on the side, kind of what it looks like from an iPhone. It just looks so outdated and it makes navigating the system so difficult because I want it to look like my phone. And now that I've used Big Sur and, or sorry, now that I've used uh, Sonoma and Ventura for the last few years because I've been using my parents' computers back and forth so I know how the system works, it just feels outdated. But yeah, but I'm so glad that I got this as a hand-me-down computer and this computer got me through high school because the last two years, 11th and 12th grade, is when my mom got her new computer because 10th, gr because 10th grade, actually it was 10th grade and on because she got her new computer because before COVID happened, then she got her new phone. So I guess I've had it for three years in high school. That doesn't matter. But 11th and 12th grade, I used this laptop at school extensively because I didn't want to use the Chromebooks that they were provided because this thing just had way more power. And plus, yes, the school internet blocked websites, but I had games on my computer like Minecraft on here. Like, no brainer. Obviously, I want to play freaking Minecraft in school. That's awesome. But yeah, this computer definitely got through high school. The only problem I had with it was the battery issue. And once I got that battery issue solved, the problem completely went away. And that was during senior year. I got my battery replaced at the beginning of senior year. And I'm so glad I did because it made senior year so much easier to get through with this thing because the battery issue was starting to become a problem because my laptop would just randomly shut off in my bag and then it would claim that it has a dead battery even though I charged it that morning. So after I got the battery replaced, it just made lugging, the, it just made taking this thing around so much easier. But I think that's everything uh, that's on this that I really want to demonstrate. Also, another reason why I want to get the new M MacBooks is because they have USB-C and if you look over here, you see that? You see that cable? That's a USB-C cable plugged into a dock that can run to this monitor. Of course I want that in my system. I mean, why, why would you take that stuff away from me? I mean, it's just... It's disappointing. Okay, I gotta take this back. My dream MacBook, my dream MacBook specific configuration is the M3 Pro MacBook Pro in the black titanium. Oh, that black looks really cool and really clean. I'm gonna go with the default RAM, which I think is like 18 gigabytes of RAM. The default CPU, the, M, the default M3 Pro CPU, I'm not gonna go any higher, and two terabytes of storage. I want those two terabytes of storage because I really need storage on my computers these days. I don't like storing stuff on like separate hard drives or hard disks or something or SSDs because I'll just have too many of them and then I don't remember where I put things because they all look identical and I gotta remember which one they're on and just no, 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 no. I'm going to eliminate that completely. Two terabytes of storage has to happen because I need storage to edit these videos. Also, I need storage to like store music and stuff on because it's coming to become a problem at some point where I want to store music because I'm an old guy and I store music digitally and I don't use streaming services. Anyways, guys, that's going to, oh, it's going to be a 14 inch computer as well. I need it so I can fit it in my camera bag because my camera bag has a 14 to 13 inch computer slot in it and I know my grandma's computer can fit in there without even trying it. But this computer cannot, and my XPS 17 definitely can't fit in there. So I'm definitely going with a 14-inch computer, even though eh, the screen's going to be smaller. But again, 
I'm just going to plug it into the Thunderbolt dock and use my monitor anyway, so that completely rules out that. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been an amazing 10 years with this thing. This thing still rocks. I will continue editing videos, and I will definitely make a video of this computer, my new computer when I get it, which will probably be next year around Christmas, or this year around Christmas, hopefully. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll have that done. Yeah. Problem is I'm going to need a new car this year because my Jeep's going to be going and I'm going to get my dad's car, old car because my dad's going to get a new car this year, so maybe next year. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with friends and family, and until next time, peace. High five.